Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to create a more than fancy sticky notes. You can already preview the template on my screen. There is an interesting thing. For example, today's date is December 6th, 2023. All right, let's fill our to-do list. Um, list one, list, then list two, then list three. So for example, you have already done all of your work today. Then are you going to recreate this template again? No, we are not going to do that. We just have to go through a very simple process. Just drag it to the personal archive, then click on add new task and there will be a new task list. And once we scroll down, we can see there is a to-do list uh, by table view and also there is another view called by status. It's also a very easy process. Just drag your work to the any status bar you want. Just as simple as that. All right, in this video, we are going to create the same template as you can see on my screen so let's back to the work all right so the first thing we are going to do is that taking a new base name it as it's taking note i really need a full screen view so for that let's minimize it and click on the three dot button then small text full width also sometimes it's very important to know the font psychology to make the template look perfect so for that we are going to choose our default font as the last one so let's add an icon it will be better to find an icon that's similar to our node. So for that, I think this one is perfect. All right, then slash. We are just going to take a block called callout. All right, this one. So let's change the icon as same as node. So then let's change the color of callout block. For that color, default color gray background looks good. So let's write something. All right, we need to create four in order to make this template as same as we saw. So for that, A, B, C, sorry, C, D. All right, now we have the four row. Our alphabet is completely masked, but that doesn't matter. So let's take a new block called Squad. Squad. All right, and we're going to name it as Quick Note. So let's make it bold. And also we need to change the color as background color as yellow all right then again we are going to take a new block called call out so let's change the color as same as code blocks so that was yellow background all right so in this block we are going to type days date so for this note we need some text right so for that i'm just going to use lorem some text as it's simple and then just one thing there is still missing it's called divider so let's drag it to the colored blocks. Then we are going to do the same thing, paste it in the colored blocks. All right, so our quick note is ready. So for now, we don't need this. So let's delete this one. All right. So still there is one thing missing that's called quick action button. Let's do it. So the first thing we need to copy our colored block, copy, command C. Then we are just going to take a new block for button. So button, then again, insert block, name it as that quick note. Then we're just going to paste it there. All right, we're done. So let's drag it to the top. So let's work on the second row, pull it to the option button and just drag it to the C row. All right, so we don't need this C, let's click this. So we are going to change the name as task node. Then make it bold. We need to change the color. Um, I think blue is perfect for this one blue background i think we can make it a match as same color for example let's do it now it's look good so again we're just going to do the same click on slash call out then change the icon as this one check mark um blue color we need to change the color also such background color will be blue background so let's create content for this block slash to do list let's copy and paste it instead of repeating it so copy paste one two three four all right i think it's enough so let's copy and let's write something first two days date then just paste it there all right we are done so let's delete this delete all right in order to create a quick action button we need to copy this block just copy it ctrl c or command c then slash button insert blocks and paste it there all right name it as add task notch we are done so let's drag it to the top all right all right now it's time to work on third row so i'm just going to copy it to the third row and we don't need this let's click this and name it as grocery list 
grocery list sorry grocery notes then we are going to change the color as green in background so now instead of creating a new block we can just copy it and customize it as grocery list so we don't need this click on slash then list view sorry bullet list so we need to change the color as green mm, green background and also need to change the icon grocery node good with this icon so this one was green all right we are done so let's copy the block and create a new button slash button insert block and let's paste it there we are done sorry i forgot to name it so click on setting icon and name it as add grocery list all right click on done so let's drag it to the top and the last one was the link node so let's copy it to the arrow let's let this a Alright, so let's change the color as red, red background. Let's change the name as link note. Sorry, link uh, note. Let's make it bold. I forget to make it bold. So let's make it bold too. So let's get a new block. Click on slash, then call out. I need to change the icon as link. Red icon, of course. Let's change the color. Color as background color was red so let's name it as a uh, site name site name slash divider let's drag it to this block all right now we need a link so let's paste it and create a bookmark all right let's drag it to this block all right we are almost done again we need to create a button for that first we need to copy this block so then again click on slash button then insert block uh, paste it and name it as add link note note and done let's drag it to the top so now we are creating down our sticky note but there's lots of things still we need to do to move forward we need to see how the button works for example i'm just going to click on this add new task so however the old task what will we do so for that we need to create a recycle bin so we can put our old work to the recycle bin so let's let this we don't need this actually so let's create a recycle bin it's very easy though so first we are going to name it as personal archive so let's turn this space into a base and select all then text into a base base so let's click on this select an icon as trash icon let's go to the back we need to create a space between this so then again another space let's drag it to this top then divider all right all right let's create a doodle list so for that we need to click on slash then table view table view new database going to name it as studio the name we don't need this tech property let's let this one so let's name some work as task one all right let's create a date property date all right then click on plus icon and create a status property status um all right and we need another property called private list so click on plus icon then select okay and now name it as low high and medium yeah low as green then medium as blue and high as red there is one more property you can create called not property text not so we done create our property so let's drag it to the medium in medium and high all right so the first one was low second one is medium third one is high so it's our table view but this view doesn't suit with our template so let's create another view first let's duplicate this one duplicate and change the layout as board view all right now we are done let's rename this as by status all right so now we can see the status of our work so if you haven't started anything it's better to be in the not started but if you start any work then just drag it to the in progress and when you are done just drag it to the done it's as simple as that so thank you for watching i really appreciate your time i'll give this template link somewhere in description and let me know what videos do you want so see you in the next video bye bye